<laughs> All right, hey guys, what's going on? Dan's News here, back in The Wolf Among Us. We're ready for episode five. Episode five, Cry Wolf. Look at that. It's pretty spooky looking. Anyway, let's get started. Previously on The Wolf Among Us. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? No. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> not if I can avoid it. Bye. Dragon wing. Ah. Uh. No. Holly's sister. Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. <laughs> That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. This time was no joke. <sighs> as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Hmm. Oh. oh, so we're going straight into the intro here. Straight into the intro. Wolf among us, wolf a wolf among us, wolf among us, wolf a wolf among us. Ha, 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 the wolf among us. Ha, 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 wolf among us. The wolf among us. Once again, Wolf Among Us theme song. All right, episode five, Cry Wolf. Here we go. A long way. You must be tired. <sighs> Bringing you in, crooked man. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Nope. Stupid Jersey Devil. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We... Oui? are not friends, and you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since hmm. I came aboard these shores. You know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word. Just what are you talking about? Hmm. I'll just be left in relative peace, I think puts it best. Allowed to live my own way. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna... Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Yeah. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? 
What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Who would try to pull that on you? Oh, I don't know. Fables with a grudge. People who want a stake in my shops and services. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just um, want to set an issue for you and to assure you that it's all today. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It's <laughs> been a long couple of days for you. Bloody Perhaps Mary. Become somewhat unscrewed. It was Mary. <laughs> oh, Sheriff, I'm afraid you're mistaken. And I have complete respect for you and your job, I really do, but I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. You will. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I don't give a I'm shit. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? You want to end up like your brother? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I am the law! Please. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. Or what? You're gonna kill me too? Well, go ahead. You think I give a shit anymore? After what you did? That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Uh, However, like I said, I'd be happy. He seems happy. If you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Uh, yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you, Why'd do, you it? do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, yes. the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? <laughs> They're like, uh, we're gonna look the other way. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? This <laughs> is Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. I'm taking both of hell? you. Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under I'm the I'm taking both of you. Everything I've done for you. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck you, Belend. You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one. Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. <sighs> I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. I what told you I'm taking you in. I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have oh. gone so well. What are you gonna do, Speaking crooked truth, man? I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? The fuck is happening? Oh no. Fucking Bloody Mary. Hi. <laughs>
Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Yeah, ready for round two, bitch. Oh! Oh, come on. Um... Oh, great. So, uh, you first. Uh, you second. Uh, I gotta just fight everybody, okay? Over here! Oh, great. Oh, portal. Dive through it. Yeah, don't wolf. Get out of it. We're pretty much done here. Oh, no. Fuck you! Ah, shit. I'd like to see it was nice knowing you, me. but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Oh, shit's going down. Oh, you son of a bitch. You bitch! Oh! Yeah, you like that, Georgie? Oh, God. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Oh, that's Tango, Jersey Devil! Have fun with this one. Yeah, good night. Yeah, Tweedle Douche is still operating back there. Alrighty then. That was a lot of Ooh. stuff happening. Shit! I know. I know. Left or right? Up! Uh, left trigger! Ah, it's okay. I'm just, you know, a wolf. Okay, where are they? There they are. Go after him, Bigby. Huh? I'm Spider Man! Huh? Okay, gotta keep up, gotta keep up, gotta keep up. Uh. Jesus. There's a lot going on right now. <sighs> Made it. Oh, what was that? Uh, it was nothing. <laughs> the guy was like, okay. Oh, that was Crooked Man. Okay. Uh, well, front. Hi, how are you doing? You, you doing good? I'm just breaking all your windows. Take him off. I can't. Uh, yeah, you can't shake me off. I'm the big bad wolf! <sighs> oh, jeez! Ow. Oh, don't run me over. Okay, good. Whew. Come on, Bigby, get up. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, you're coming back, huh? Well, Don't it. that's Tango. Are you sure? Do it! Chicken time! Uh, He's not moving. Keep going! Let's go. Huh. All right, Bigby, come on. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. Come on. What's going on here? Ah, clothes. Hey, look, it's Bigby's outfit. <laughs> what? They pretty much had big feet. Yeah, they had big me out. That's incredibly convenient. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's examine the car here. Georgie's car. Alright. Blood trail's leading in there. Holy shit. He's bleeding a lot. Well, let's go, uh... 
break in, shall we? How you feeling there, Georgie? Stomach burning a little bit? Just a little. Come on. We can't stay here. Uh, hang on. I need a minute. Okay. Oh, do ya? Can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. Uh, oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, Georgie? How did it get this? Uh, Oh, fuck. Well, it won't be your fault. It won't be her fault, huh? It's all your fault, Georgie. Hi. Mr. Bloody. Bloody Georgie. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course... You're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. <sighs> you gonna carry me? Yep, if Please, I have Sheriff. to. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> it isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. <laughs> You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking- mean... ah! Calm You're down, the George. You're the fucking wolf, too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Look, I'm Sometimes just... you just have to do what you're told! You didn't have to do anything. Like hell I didn't. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. Well, you could have so enjoyed I it a little less. Him, and I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Taking you in for the murder, but he's still gonna get taken down too, no, Georgie. Me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It's not just gonna be you. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and play me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. You're going down for murder. But what was I supposed to do? Him conspiracy to commit like murder. Me. How could you know? At the end of the day, you're just like him. You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What? Tell what me. What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me if freeing Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we yeah, well, it happened that way. It, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. 
This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the Crooked Man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches Don't talk can... talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. Oh no. Oh. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my I life. Pull it. I thought it would be different here. <sighs> but it's all the fucking same. Vivian, it's your decision. Mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Ah. Vivian, wait. I... Every day oh, I have Jesus. to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Narissa and I hate myself. <sighs> Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you oh, doing? Oh shit. Vivian. Don't. Uh, 